welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. Uh, flipping my hair all over the place. Uh, <laughs> I'm Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and let's go. So, <clears throat> a couple of announcements before I start the show. And the first announcement is, um, yes, I will be taking callers. The call line is up and working so far today. The number to call in is 845-277-9131. If you're waiting in the call log, thank you so much, everybody, for calling in and waiting and being patient. Um, have an exact question or connection ready for me. I don't just give random readings ever. I figure if you're connecting with me, there's something you want to know, somebody you want to connect with. Have that one question or one connection ready. And when I call out your area code, let me know your name, your first name only, where you're calling from, and um, your question or connection, okay? If you do have a connection and you have a question for your connection, uh, please let me know that question right away. Next. Um, hi, Stevie. So my little brother, Stevie, always watches my show and then calls me and gives me feedback on everything. It's so awesome. And he wants so badly to be on the show. I might actually do a call and have him on the show this morning with me. <laughs> um, we'll see how the show goes, though. Before I before I pull that, let's just see how the show goes. Um and then what else? What else? Okay, so this show does air on WSES and all of their streaming channels, by the way. Hey, Scott, it's been so long. Thank you so much for all the hard work you do. It um, airs on with Rude Rangers TV and all of their streaming channels. Also, hey, Rudy, I miss you so much. Um, so anybody who is watching on WSCS or any streaming channel. If you want to join the show live, it's noon every Monday and Wednesday for a minimum of 30 minutes. The show does go in a 30 or 60 minute increment simply because those are the, the time slots that fit into TV. So if, if I'm at 30 and we go over, I'm going to push that 60 and I get to take more callers and answer more questions. If I'm getting near 30 and I'm completely booked up for the day or something else going on or whatever it is, I'm going to cut it at that 30. But I do try to do at least 60 every Monday and every Wednesday if I can. Um, what else? What else? What else? Okay. So now I think any other announcements? I think we're ready to get started. Okay. So the first thing I've been drawn there's so much oh my gosh um so i missed two weeks worth of shows because i was going through it <laughs> and we all are <laughs> right and i had some <clears throat> lung and throat stuff going on and i couldn't talk without coughing and it was so i think i think the universe was saying just shut up for five seconds would you just shut up for five seconds <laughs> so i um I could not do the shows and I just basically slept for two weeks, which felt, by the way, pretty amazing. I like my bed. Um, but anyway, let me get back on point here. But during that two weeks, so many messages and channelings were coming through. And I was just getting so, so much um, about the world what's going on in the world, why things are the way they are, and what is kind of needed to, <clears throat> to I don't want to say transition. I don't want to say transition, but what, what, but what we need to do as a people, as a, as a people that might feel a little bit power, powerless. Now, I want everybody to know, and it's, it's really super important, for anybody watching and or listening to my show to know, because I'm on, a, on, I think, just about every single podcast 
or most of the podcasts there are out there. So <clears throat> if you are listening to or watching the show, number one, you can join live. I think I covered that. But um, one of the, the really important things to know is what, what we can do moving forward to help this. Now, when I'm on the show, 98% of what I say is channeled, meaning it's coming through me intuitively for you. I'm not making it up as I go along. Um, it's just coming out of my mouth. And sometimes I don't know the next thing that's going to come out of my mouth. Sometimes I'm not aware of the next thing I'm going to say. And um, in that case, you know, it's I always have faith that it's going to be something good, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, but what I will say is... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to channel just a wee bit here about some of the things I was receiving during the past two weeks. And um, hopefully it will be well received by everybody. Um, so here we go. For, for And everybody who's in the call log, please be patient. I am going to get to you. I, pr I promise you I will get to you and I'll answer your questions or help you connect with loved ones. And everybody on YouTube, hey, thank you so much for being here. I love, I love all of you so very much. Okay. Whew. So <clears throat> one of the main things I was getting is, is um, divide and conquer and distractions. So most of us know that a lot of what's going on right now is a form of divide and conquer mixed with distractions. And the biggest thing we can do is um, love thy neighbor. Now, I know that sounds so hokey, but that's just what flew out of my mouth. <laughs> it is. Um, no matter what we see or hear, on any venue, we have to take it with a grain of salt. And we have to go past what they're like peddling and look at the bigger picture. Now, since the beginning of this two or three years ago, whenever the beginning of this whole thing was, I said, there's a there's something bigger at stake here. This is there's a bigger agenda. Pay attention, folks, pay attention, folks, pay attention. Well, POTUS on White House dot, I think it's White House dot org or gov, whatever it is. In one of POTUS's recent speeches, he said, near the end of the speech at the White House, he said, and I'm ushering in a new world order. Let that sink in. This means our government is about to hand over the government of our country to another entity. And they're telling us they're doing it. He told us they're doing it. So all these distractions with the Supreme Court, with what's about to hit our streets. It's wasp spray season, by the way. Pick up a lot of wasps spray with stupid fake trials like J Depp and A Heard with everything else. Those are all distractions. The divide and conquer part comes in where they make us think we're not getting along with each other or we don't like BGTLQ. Uh, please forgive me if I didn't get all the initials in there. Or it's this color against that color or any of that. I don't have a problem with anybody unless they're shanky to me. And I think 99% of the people in this world are like that. We're good until you're shanky with us. You're not shanky with me. I love you. I got nothing but love for you. And if you are shanky with me, I still love you. I'm just not going to deal with you. I'm going to walk away. Okay, we as a people need to embrace each other right now and not listen. Don't don't uh, don't pick up what they're putting down. Don't buy what they're selling. 
We need to work together. Everything that's going on right now is extremely intentional. Because if they can get us in a state where we are desperate enough, fearful enough, hungry enough, they can get us to do anything. Don't let this happen, folks. Work with each other as a whole. Work with each other as a whole. Okay? Now, having said that, I don't, I'm not going to go any further into that. I'm not. I'm going to let that, whew, I've said what they need me to say on that. And we are now going to start taking callers. Ah, hey, let's go to 205. 205, how can I help you today? Hi, Tony. Thank you so much for taking my call, and thank you so much um, for your platform, your service, and your messages. Um, they are so vital at this time. Thank you. Um, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank God for you. My question today, you're welcome. My question is centered around um, love. Um, there is a guy by the name of T gentleman by the name of T that um, I've been knowing for about eight years in passing. We would pass each other. We would hold small conversations and we would flirt a little bit and then we would keep it moving. And we did this for about eight years. Well, at some point we lost communication. Um, he moved from the place that I used to see him in all the time. And we lost communication for two years. Well, about a month ago, I bumped into him. And this time, we exchanged numbers. We have seen each other, um, went out uh, maybe like a week after we exchanged number. We went out, had a good time. And now we're just kind of texting each other. Um, I haven't seen him again. I've invited him over, but he had family stuff going on. I just want to know, um, what is his intention? Um, is he serious uh, about me? I would like to be um, in a loving relationship um, with me. What do you see? Okay, the first Please. thing I, I'm getting Thank is that you. you need to take this. You're welcome. The first thing I'm getting is you need to take this slow. I feel like he might now, remember, energy and timelines can kind of overlap. He might have something he's resolving. Let me put it that way. Uh, he's, he's in the middle of resolving another thing right now. If he hasn't already resolved it, he's in the middle of resolving it. I do feel like um, for the first four things that the two of you do together, and I, I'm specifically hearing the number four, they should not be at each other's places. They should be out and about. Coffee, uh, dinner, a, a festival where you can walk around and talk for a, a bit of time. I feel like at a minimum, the first four should be out and about. Um and then after that, what you decide to do is up to you. I do feel like this does have the potential to be something strong and longer lasting. I do feel like you, if you go slow and you um, build it like a partnership um, oh. over a, um, I, I'm hearing that stupid song, let's get it on. <laughs> um, let's let's not worry about that in the beginning. Let's go straight for the, um, yeah. like if you were my partner in business, these are the things I would require to know. So let's get to know those things and then decide if you want to give him the key to the castle or the business, so to say. Um, I do feel like it's going to be a little bit hectic in the beginning, getting together. Just be patient. Here's what, you know, one of the things, even I forget this being, you know, a girl and all. I think sometimes guys do better with managing their impatience with everything except for what's in their pants. 
um, and their need for it to go quickly, guys can move in a more patient way than women can. Um, what we need to remember is if this is the one we have forever, so we don't need to rush it. And if it's not the one, we don't want to rush it and miss things and not how do I, I'm going to say a double negative. I, I can hear English teachers all over the world cringing right now and not know it wasn't the right person. I don't even know how to say that a sentence appropriately. I just, um, I don't know. I don't know how to say that, that, that appropriately, but what, what I'm going to say, um, the way I would say it is we, we need to take our time and realize Yes, this is the person that I do. I, you know, he checks all the boxes, clean, safe, yada, yada. And if it is forever, we have forever. If it's not, at least I didn't go further, get more invested or go further than, than I, I wanted to. You want to make sure it's good stock, not penny stock, so to say. I don't, I don't really even know what that means. Yeah. Um, and if you're building a business, you want to make sure you're building it on a good foundation and you are really, really building the right business. Like it's nice if you can open a beauty shop and run it. It's better if you're a beautician. That's what I'm saying. Like don't build a business that, okay. that you have no, you don't know anything about. So that's, I, I, I hope these analogies make perfect sense to you. I do feel like um, he is either yeah. ending something or trying to end something or just got out of something and it is going a little a little slow because of that. Now, I am going to say this just because I I feel because they're making me say it. Um, I feel like there's a slight chance that whomever or whatever, I don't want to say who, but whatever is ending right now, it might take a little bit longer than anticipated. I do feel like, you know, that statement last ditch effort. I'm kind of hearing that. Um, but I feel mm -hmm. like the outcome is inevitable, but we don't want to, we don't, we want to take our time and make sure we're entering in perfect timing, not chaotic timing. Does that make sense to you, love? What? Oh, yes. Because he, he mentioned a divorce but he had been with this person for 15 years. But I got this sense because he said he hadn't been in a relationship for over two years that maybe this divorce took place two years ago. But yeah. that's not to say that he hasn't probably dated, you know, since then. So I just, I know he said that. And, you know, um, it was a real possibility that he probably had, maybe entered something or whatever the case may be, but um, I do understand. Yeah. And they what, could what be, saying. they could be talking about like when ending something like what could be ending, this could be the finalization of the divorce or what, and divorces do depending on where you live, they do take a year and a half to two years. So that could be what they're talking about. And we want to, when somebody is going through a divorce, especially we want to enter at the right time because there's a lot of residual emotions, um, especially uh -huh. in a divorce, because especially at the, up until the end of the divorce, it's all, uh, I can't think of the word, but you know, I'm I, speculation. It's all speculation about division of property, division of children, division of everything. Now, what I'm going to tell you is once that divorce is final, it hits, it hits. Oh, I have to write a check or divide the property or sell this stuff. And, and everything I built over this period of time is now done and it hits. And we don't want to enter a situation if somebody is um, feeling uh, defensive because of what they just had to end. We want to enter a situation when they have that under control and they have a good grasp on it and all their negative feelings and emotions about their last situation are done. In other words, they've healed and they're happy with the outcome and moving forward. That's why I think they're saying, take your time, allow this to go. Um, 
you know, a minimum of four get togethers outside of uh, your place, his place at public places and allow it to grow the way it's going to grow uh, and really get to know each other and and allow the timing to be what the timing is going to be. Again, if it is somebody that we have, uh, it's if it is the person we have our whole entire life, it is if it isn't and we go too fast, we're going to waste more time than we should with the person. OK, love. Yes. Thank you so much. I love you. Oh. Many blessings, Tony. Thank you so thank, much for the thank, message. Thank you, too. And I love you so much, too. And I I, I truly do hope this is helpful. But I, I do look forward to hearing more about it. And I, I uh, hope you keep us posted. I sure will. Thank you, thank love. You. Thank you. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, who is five. Four, one. If you would like to call in, please call 845-277-9131. Uh, okay, 541, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Nancy from Oregon. Nancy. And I love your show so much. Oh, my gosh, thank you. <laughs> but anyway, my question is... Um, my daughter and and my family are moving to Oklahoma on Saturday, taking a long road trip to get there. And even though I'm going to miss her terribly, I want her to be happy in her new life. And I was just curious, do you see me down the road, you know, seeing her again or visiting or even moving out to Oklahoma in the future? Yeah, you know what, actually, oh my goodness. Yeah, those are amazing questions. And thank you for asking them. And thank you for calling in. I, I, um, I do. Yes, you are definitely going to visit her. Yes. I do feel like if you relocate there, it's going to have to be uh, a little bit, I don't want to say sooner than later, because what's sooner than later? I hear six months to a year, you're really going to start thinking about it and wanting to um, possibly take that step for it. Um, but of course, you have free will, sweetie. You could start. You could go now and start looking, or get online and start looking and working with someone. I do feel like you, given given all things going correct, let me say it that way. I do feel like you are going to eventually, at least, try or look at relocating. If it's successful, that'll be up to you and your final decision. I do know you are going to visit there. I feel like you're going to, as I feel like you will, if you do Oklahoma more than where you are, I think financially, it'll be a great relief to you. I think financially, it'll be a better situation for you. I don't. I don't know why they're saying that, but they are. And I do feel like if and when you relocate to Oklahoma, I feel like you are going to have a lot of um, uh, uh, new, new beginnings there is the way they're saying it. I feel like you are going to visit them um, and then you're just going to decide, yeah, I think I'm going to look into making the jump and moving there. I hope and, and again, you know, I would love to say, yes, you're going to relocate and I'm getting, you know, 70 to 80 percent. You are going to relocate. There's just one thing. Um, there's one thing that might prevent it. So there's something that is that might come in that would have you second guess that choice or make that choice take a little bit longer than you would you would um you would think so I, 70 to 80 percent mm -hmm. chance you are going to relocate there however there if this one thing gets in the way you won't be able to i don't think it's going to and it might just be fear of relocating it's a big change to to relocate to another state is a big change at <laughs> any time at any point, at any age. I do think, though, you are going to make that decision to do it once you get over the hump of 
how am I going to do all of this? The timing, again, timing does have to be appropriate. I think once they get in and they get settled and you go visit, I do feel like that's when you're going to make your decision. If you do it too quickly, it might be a little bit too chaotic. Okay, love. So about between the six months and your yeah, month. I believe that. Yeah, I think it's going to definitely be, be, be between the six month and one year mark that you start to make that decision and then actually move forward with the decision. Okay, beauty. Oh, that makes sense. Do you feel like they're going to be happy there? Yeah, they're going to love it there. They are. Yeah, I feel like they're really going to enjoy it. They're going to, um, it's like a fresh new start. It's, it's exciting for them. It won't be quite as exciting for you, but it is exciting for them. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for calling in. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Tony. You are welcome. I look forward to hearing updates on this, love. Okay, I will. I definitely will. Excellent. Thank you, love. Okay, I'm going directly to the next caller who is 951. 951, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thanks for taking my calls. Absolutely. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, it's Nathaniel from California. Hey, Nathaniel. How uh, how is everything going? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Excellent. Excellent. How can I help you today? Well, I wanted to see uh, what you're seeing uh, in work coming up for me. Okay, Nathaniel, what I'm getting for you is that there is going to be something that comes in right around the month mark. Um, I do feel like there is... um, I, you know, Nathaniel, uh, because you are such a wanderer, um, I do feel like you're going to have difficulty with any position that you, any position that you get, or, or uh, you're going to have difficulty um, wanting to stay at the position, is what I'm getting. So you're going to have to just, um, you know, it, kind of go into that space where you're okay just giving up this time for the exchange of the income. No position is going to be exactly what you want at this point in your life. No position is going to be, you know, that thing that makes your soul sing at this point. Um, The one thing I do hear for you, Nathaniel, and I'm not sure how you how you feel about this or if you're already doing it, but I do feel like there is the potential for you to receive. um, I keep, I just keep hearing social security, social security, social security. So I don't know if that's something that you've looked into or thought about, or maybe that you should look into or think about. You are loved, you are wanted, and you are needed. Even if you don't feel it or see it on a daily basis, you are until Wednesday, and Wednesday I will be back at noon central time for a minimum of 30 minutes, and please join live if you can. Um, Until Wednesday, have an absolutely amazing rest of the week.